Hello, I am Satan Deville. And uh, when I'm uh, on Earth here, I always tune in to the Archie Luxury Channel. Archie Luxury Channel. I always like to see what that buffoon is doing from the whist, whist, whist watch. Check. I like to see what that buffoon is doing. And when I'm on Earth, I always enjoy the Archie Luxury Channel. I'm Satan Deville. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury Channel. Today, guys, I'm going for lunch. Part of the Archie Luxury Weight Loss Reboot is eating more healthy. So, uh, I got to tell you, this is a very important part of the uh, the weight loss regime. Regime. It's to lose the weight. You've got to eat well. It's more important than the exercise. It's the eating, eating the correct things. And uh, I got to tell you the truth there. I've been inundated with advice from the fans and the viewers, and uh, most of it's crap. It's fasting recommendations. I've been told about shakes and vitamins, and I've been told about uh, supplements, all sorts of rubbish. The honest answer is it's hard. It ain't easy. If it was fucking easy, everyone would be thin. It's fucking hard. So I gotta tell you the truth, guys. <sighs> Thanks for all the emails of support, but your bullshit instant cures don't tempt me. They're crap, so just stick it up your fat ass. I don't need your, 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 your voodoo magic, okay? I'm doing this on my own. The doc, doc is giving me instructions. Now let's go and get some very nice spring rolls. That's right. Let's get some spring rolls. That's what I want. I want some spring rolls. And who's ringing me? It's annoying people ringing me when I'm trying to make vids. One, two, three, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. How do I turn this fucking thing around? How do I turn this? One, two, three. Fucking hell, it's annoying. There we go. I'm going in to going to get some spring rolls today. So this is the first thing I'm going to do is get some healthy food. Healthy food. That's what I need. Healthy food. Okay. Ready for one? Sure, 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 sure. How are you going?
Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I got a special, got a letter that's come in. And this is from one of my, my closest, dearest fans. Dr. Sprague from, where's he from? Bagor, Bagor, Maine. Bagor, Bagor, Bangor, Bangor, Maine. So he sent me this here. And uh, I, I've got to be honest with you there, guys. I do, before I open this letter, I do have a few things I need to do for him. I've got some, I got some, I haven't forgotten, and he, he did actually ask me to do a few, i got to do some, some paid reviews, and what sort of happened was, I, what happened was, I got sidetracked. I had some mental illness, I got sidetracked, and i got to be honest with you, uh, I'm just getting back on track now. I'm starting to, starting to move in the the right direction. So, uh, guys, I actually have not forgotten Dr. Sprague. I will be doing these videos for him. Uh, I, I did a few, but I the reason I've left it go is that I've just been catching up. With the paid reviews, I hope Dr. Sprague's not too angry. I am going to do them because I, I, I got to be honest with you. I, I sat down with my, I was looking into my mental illness, and I like to be, I'm a pleaser. I'm a lover, not a hater. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So I like to do things to please my viewers and audience. So when I didn't actually um, do them, it disappoints me. I... I, 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 I am disappointed that I, I didn't do them. Uh, yeah, I am disappointed. So let's, let's open this up. He sent me a beautiful... He's always a, he's always a cool guy. The guy is a cool guy. I'm doing the weight loss again. I'm doing the weight loss now that my life is back in order. I'm doing the... Da -da -da -da, look at this. Happy Easter. Look at that. Happy Easter. This is from, from Dr... Sprague, let's open it up. Da 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 da. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck me dead! 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Ah, oh, Dr. Sprague. My God, he says here. It says here. Look, it's what a cool guy. Paul. Paul. May you find happiness in the meaning of Easter and joy in the many miracles of the season. To the greatest YouTuber of all time, here's wishing you, your family, and your entire audience a splendid Easter selection season. Best regards, Dr. Sprague. Whoa! What a beautiful... This is a kind man. i got to be honest with you. I have many amazingly kind fans and it means a lot to me the fans who do I mean Dr. Sprague has been a fan for years he sponsored my fridge and I keep the, the, the sponsorships up there he's been a very very cool guy he, he got those stickers those cool stickers he that was Dr. Sprague uh, he's, a, he's a really cool guy I love him to death and I gotta be honest with you, it means a lot to me. There's, there's got there's a couple of fans who've really been another great fan is Stephen Brooks. Stephen Brooks. He's been an amazing fan. Stephen Brooks has helped me. He's, he sent me alcohol, cases and cases of alcohol. <coughs> He's going through a bit of a, a tough period. And we all do. We have life is up and down. It's not constant like a um you know, sometimes life is like a 737, um, 737-800 max. We go up, 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 and bang down. Um, I got to tell you, he's he's a very cool guy. That's um, Stephen Brooks. He's, he's another, just, I met him in Bangkok. I met Stephen Brooks in Bangkok, and uh, I love him. I love him. I honestly say I love I love my fans. I really, really do. Uh, Stephen Brooks, just fucking cool guy. Uh, another fan is um, 
the carts the carts i'm actually hoping to meet the carts in hong kong i don't he doesn't really want to go on camera but i'm i'm i've the carts for my 40th he had my name etched into the bottle so um that was amazing the carts that was absolutely amazing he's a good friend i love the carts i love him yes i do i do i love the carts uh other friends have come and gone come and gone i had some good friends there they kind of you know it's kind of like anything um i had a very good friend in england who i sold one of my louis vuitton briefcases to and i sold him a cartier clock and uh he had a, a rolex datejust 36 mil then he sold them all off and I, that really I'm really disappointed because he promised me he would sell me back the briefcase. I did it for him at a deal. And I was just sad that he just sold it without asking me or saying, hey, do you want to buy it back? And um, he had a Cartier clock as well. He sold that as well, which kind of... I'm disappointed. I mean, who can't use a Cartier clock? You know, very disappointing. Um, yeah, that's kind of kind of how it goes there. Uh, I got some amazing friends. Dave, Dave is an amazing friend. Dave's taken me to Hong Kong. He's he's helped the channel so much. He's a, he's a good friend. He's the one. Dave sold me the Daytona at pre boom price. Otherwise, I would never get into a Daytona, okay? I would never have gotten into it. And Dave has really, I mean, he's a really top friend. I'm a bit of a stubborn cunt. He knew that unless he helped me get into Rolex, I would be too stubborn to say I made a mistake. And, and he, he said to me, Arch, get rid of some of these fucking softer models. Buy Rolex, buy Rolex. And now I've got five Rolexes, soon to be six. Um, Dave's really, because I'm a stubborn cunt. I just can't accept that I've made a fuck up. Okay, okay. Alpha male! Alpha male. Can't accept I fucked it up badly. Um, so that's kind of... <laughs> That's kind of a very, very big, big thing. Dave, Dave's done a lot for me. Um, I sold him some vintage. Yes, yes, I saw. I gave him. I, I, I sold it to him. Very, very. I did some good deals for him. But he's done a lot for me too. He got me the Milgals. The Milgals. I got that for five Aussie. Five Aussie. That was Dave who did that. Uh, it's a bargain. Bargain. Why? Because I am Archie Luxury. That's why. They don't give these deals, you don't get these deals on the Facebook buy sell forums, that's for sure. These deals are because, you know, I'm very fortunate. I get some amazing deals. And I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. Um, I, I really, myself, I really, really, really have the most amazing fans there. So many people care for me, um, and that that's a, that's a that's a cool feeling. It's a very cool feeling. Uh, I had a barrister, a top level barrister, helped me when I was in a bad bad way, bad way, bad way. I got friends like Marky, Marky, Marky. Even in time of need, he he gave me a bottle of Grange. What a fucking fucking good guy. He just a uh, fucking good guy so I've been blessed I must tell you I've been blessed and uh, even you know my, my friend Father Richard and I've been angry at the Catholic Church of course I've been angry but he's a good soul Father Richard is, is a good soul he's a very good soul and um, he's a very good soul he um He's a cool guy. He sent me some money when I was in a very bad way. And I've been a bit of a cunt to him, but 
he's he's a good guy. He's a good guy, and I'll 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 send him a thank you. I'll send him a thank you. I I kind of um. Yeah, yeah. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He's very. I've got some amazing cool guys, and um. It's funny, you know, sometimes with friendship, what happens is, you know, people are friends with you and then they get out of the hobby, you know, they get out of the hobby, they get out of watches. And I got to say to you, you know, that's kind of sad. It's loser talk. Get out of the hobby. You're a fucking loser. You can't get out of the hobby. You got to stay in the hobby, man. It's uncool to get out of the hobby. Okay, don't, don't fucking do that. You've got to stay in the hobby. That's what you must do. You've got to stay in the hobby. And some of these people, they're just cunts. They just cunts. They, they get out of the hobby. And um, I think it's important you stay in the hobby. So, um, guys, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you very much. Uh, t tell me what you think, guys. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends, and thank you for watching the Archie Luxury Channel. Come on, fatso. Don't be so hard. Don't play hardball with me. Don't be so mean and nasty. I'm, I'm, I'm here to, uh, to, to help you through your journey, Archibald. Uh, come on, come on, come. This is a, this is a limited offer. And uh, think about it, Archibald. If you if you agree to it now, you can go and uh, get that Friday's pizza deal at Domino's. Go to the Domino's, uh, and you can also get the Pizza Hut deal as well. Why not get two different brands of pizza? And I'll even include twenty bucket tubs of uh, salted caramel. Come on, Archie. This is the deal that, um, the deal for you. Just give me that Patek Philippe. Hey guys, Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Today, guys, I want to talk about I invented the Whist, Whist, Whist Watch. Check, that's right. I am the first YouTuber who ever did Whist Watch checks. And uh, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Explorer 1. That's right, 39 mils, 39 mils. Fuck her Roonies! Fuck her Roonies, that's the one. Fuck her Roonies, it's my Explorer 1. Now, let's get into the meat, the meat and veg of this, this, this here. I'm the guy who invented wristwatch check. Guys, I would really appreciate if there's other gurus watching this segment. Can you please give credit to Archie for inventing the wristwatch check? If you guys there run your own YouTube channel, please, please say, uh, let's do a wristwatch check as, as invented by Archie Luxury. Please reference Archie Luxury. I get no thank you. I get no, no, nothing. I should have fucking copyrighted that, that simple, that simple segment, but I didn't. I forgot. I didn't make it to the patent office in time. It's like forgetting to register the ingredients for Kentucky Fried Chicken or Coca-Cola or Pepsi. I fucked it up. So guys, could you please pay a little respect to the inventor of the wristwatch check? I invented the wristwatch check and basically it was part of my segments on viewer emails. That's where it came from. The viewer emails. I used to do these years ago. They're still on YouTube. I used to do wristwatch checks and <clears throat> I got to be honest with you guys. I really, <clears throat> I'm really disappointed. No one says let's do a wristwatch check as invented by Archie Luxury. They leave it out. They leave it out. You know, they really do leave it out there. And I got to be honest with you, YouTube is full of bullshit. You know, everyone says, oh, you know, I say, 
Tell your fuckhead friends. These are the same fuckhead friends who would fuck your girlfriend. They would fuck your girlfriend and they would fuck. They would fuck your girlfriend and they would. I forgot to put aftershave on. They would fuck your girlfriend or fuck your wife if they got a chance because they're cunts. They're not real friends. They're absolute fucking cunts. That's what they are. They're fucking nasty. Vicious cunts. That's what they are, fucker Roonies. Nasty, vicious, foul, pugnant cunts. And and that's exactly it. The other thing is, guys, you look at these Wistwatch channels that are out there now. So many pretenders there. You know, there's trendy channels, they're all buying views and subscribers. You can tell the real ones. I mean you have a look. I tell you, I tell you what, guys, they're at fuck my plane. It's your plane, it's your plane, it's your plane. I gotta tell you, fucker Roonies, there's some real cunters out there. There's some real vicious, nasty cunters. And uh, they're buying views, they're buying subs. You know, you see it. I tell you who's an honest guy is that. Uh, Austin Daniels, Austin Daniels, uh, he he's he holds, I don't know how that fucker holds the camera so still, I'm going to give him a job as a tripod one day, you know, he's fucking amazing how he, he does. Hi guys, Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Guys, I want to tell you this is so important. Guys, I depend on my Patreon supporters. Just this week, I used my Patreon funds to get myself a fantastic, lightweight, gimbal travel camera. And I just want to say thank you. This was made possible because of my Patreons. <coughs> the Patreons. They made this purchase possible. And it's, you know, pieces of equipment like this is $600, plus I need a few memory cards. It's such an expensive business. Guys, if you haven't sponsored me on Patreon, please do so. Look in the description for this video here. It'll tell you ways you can help me. <coughs> Guys, help me stay full-time on YouTube making videos. By helping me on Patreon, you send a small amount each month to me to keep me enthused and making videos. I can buy equipment like this little gimbal camera. Guys, come on, help me. Help me a lot. Help me. Help me very much. So, because, guys, I wanna. I want your help. I need help to make quality content. And I gotta be honest with you. If I didn't have your help, it's not gonna be much good, guys. It's not going to be much good. I need your help to buy equipment and to uh, to do things. So, guys, sponsor me on Patreon. And I'll be here for you. That's right. I'll be here for you. Please, guys, help me on Patreon. See you later. Friendship ceases from the